Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about how to talk to people who don't like the idea of feminism. If you're someone who likes the idea of feminism, and you want to advance feminist goals, and you're talking to someone who doesn't identify as feminist, and says that they're opposed to feminism, how do you talk to these people? I see a lot of people in my social network who identify as feminist, talking to people who don't in ways that I think ends up t sort of talking past them, and often kind of reinforcing the m misunderstandings that these people hold about feminism. So typically these conversations go like this. Someone will say, well, I'm not a feminist, I'm an egalitarian, or I don't like feminism because feminism is ab about putting women above men, and I want to support equality, but I don't want to support putting men down or putting women on a higher level. That's usually how these conversations start out. And what I see happen after this is one of several things. Like, one thing I see often is that people start making these arguments of like, well, here's why we need feminism, or like, here's why women are worse off than men are. And then uh, people start getting into this unproductive argument, like someone will come up with an example of how men are worse off. So an example that I hear quoted often is that men are much more likely to be victims of violence than women. And this is a, a horrible thing, it's something that affects men more than women, and it's hard to dispute. And then the people on the other side will come up with some figure about women being worse off. So they might look at, like, representation in U.S. Congress, and the fact that there has never been a woman president, and that women are not represented proportionately on an overwhelming majority of, like, corporate boards, CEO positions, like positions of power and authority. Or they might cite figures about sexual assault and rape, and so on. And then it just sort of goes back and forth, and neither side really acknowledges the other's points, and it sort of gets into this, like, comparing apples to oranges thing. And I just want to say, my, my whole take on this whole argument, I think it's a pissing contest, I think it's a waste of time. Um, I don't think that you can say, in a universal sense, men are better off, or women are better off. And I don't think feminism is about saying that men don't have unique struggles that they deal with. What I think of as feminism is working towards gender equality, and I think that that whole debate of who is better off is just dangerously distracting. So that's the one direction that I see the dialogue go in that I don't like. The other direction that I see the dialogue go in that I also don't like, and I don't think uh, furthers things very much, is that people will just jump into saying, oh, well, you have a misunderstanding of feminism, you don't know what feminism is, feminism is this, blah blah blah, and they don't really listen to the people and ask them to fully explain their concerns before they launch into these sorts of explanations. Like, one of the sorts of explanations that I hear is, oh, well, you just have this misinterpretation of feminism because right-wing media always portrays feminism in an extremist way, or it focuses on extremist elements within feminism and then amplifies those so as to make feminism look bad. And I think that there is some truth in that perspective. But I think that just saying that to someone who has just expressed that they feel uncomfortable with feminism or that they don't want to identify as feminist, just launching into that explanation, it doesn't acknowledge what's going on with the person, and in fact, it doesn't even ask the person what's going on with them. And I want to share from experience what might be going on with some of these people. I am someone who not only like, believes in the goals of feminism, but I think that I actually hold quite radical views. Like, I tend to adhere more towards radical feminist ideology than I do sort of mainstream feminism. So I'm pretty radical in terms of, like, seeing things as, like, this system of oppression of women, instead of just these, like, isolated things. So, but still, I had some really awful experiences with feminism, or at least with people who identify as feminists. Like, when I was in college, 
there was this debate and discussion and dialogue happening on campus about sexual assault and rape. And at one point, I was in this student organization that I was involved in, and I started raising some concerns. I started saying, hey, I think some of our rhetoric might not be reaching the men on campus who are most likely to commit sexual assault and rape. I think that we might be able to modify our dialogue in a way that could get through to those people better. And I was just attacked for saying that. Uh, I thought that some of the rhetoric was sort of too demonizing or too sort of hostile towards men, and that I thought that there would be a way to get through to them better, and people just dove on me because of it. Like, people were shouting at me. Uh, I think it was pretty verbally abusive, and I received some really nasty, hostile emails following this incident. And like, I actually went back and I read the emails, and I read what I had written in response, and then the replies actually saved these, and even with, with hindsight and the greater knowledge that I have now about respectful communication that I didn't have back then, I think I was still being pretty respectful, and I think that the ways in which I was treated were verbally abusive and hostile. And this is just one example, like, if someone like me, who has a deep concern for feminist issues and for women and for the state of women in society uh, for these things and has like a deep knowledge of feminist theory, like I had taken a women's studies course and gone way above and beyond reading stuff for that class. Like if someone like me is attacked by these sort of extremist elements of feminism, I think that it's pretty reasonable to assume that there are a lot of other people out there who are probably more likely to get attacked than I am, because I tend to be pretty respectful in how I talk to people, I tend to be pretty sensitive about these issues. There are also really extremist and negative elements that you can find pretty easily on the internet. Like, one thing that I see people cite a lot in this regard is the website Jezebel, I don't even consider Jezebel to be a necessarily feminist website. It's run by Gawker Media, and it was started as a fork of Gawker.com that was designed to appeal more to women. And it frequently discusses feminist issues, it raises legitimate femi feminist concerns, but it often exhibits sort of shortcut thinking and typical, like, sensationalistic approach to journalism and writing that I think doesn't lend itself towards constructive dialogue. And I often see the discussions on that site blow up in a lot of negativity. And I think a lot of people think feminism and they go straight to sites like that. Or they might even think of Tumblr. I've seen stuff on Tumblr, people saying, like, men are fucking scum, I hate men, things like that, in the context of a discussion about serious feminist issues. And I think it's really easy to see that and to just form this negative impression of feminism. So you don't need to watch right-wing media in order to form a negative impression of feminism. You can have direct experiences with this. And I think that when you talk to someone who doesn't identify as feminist and who says things like, well, I'm an egalitarian, not a feminist, or who says, I don't believe in feminism because I don't want to put women on a higher level than men, and that's what feminists want. When you talk to people like this, I think it's important to be mindful of the possibility that these people have had these really negative experiences with feminism. And before you launch into talking about, like, why we need feminism or stuff like that, I think it's really important to listen to these people, be like, hey, why do you feel that way? And ask them to get specific, say, like, what stuff have you heard people say under the banner of feminism, or in the name of feminism, or what do you think feminism is, and why do you think that's what it is? And then you can listen to them, and then you can say, oh man, that sounds awful, I don't believe in that, I don't support those sorts of things, I don't agree with what those people are saying, and I don't think that's what feminism is. I think that's ultimately a much more productive way of getting through to these people than just sort of trying to defend feminism or like advocate for it. I think it's better to listen and to connect with the people and to especially listen to their negative experiences with feminism and then like empathize with them and show them, not tell them, show them that that's not what feminism is about, and by doing so, not letting those sort of extremist elements kind of 
own feminism. Like, I think that there's a degree to which we need to, like, actively distance ourselves from those things in order to rebuild a positive impression of feminism. So I hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear from you. If you have anything to add, any questions, comments, uh, please add a comment. And as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!